How's it going, y'all? Welcome to Highland, Utah. Got a great one for you today. Let's get after it. How's it going friends? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to Salt Lake City and you can check out our website, welcome to saltlakecity.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find the right place to call home here in Utah, Salt Lake City, the Wasatch Front, as it were. And that's what we do. That's what we do better than anybody else. So if any of that sounds up your alley, sounds interesting, sounds helpful, do yourself a favor, do me a favor, do uh, the team a favor. Subscribe to this channel, click that little bell to get notified so you can see when we're putting these videos out the best videos on the internet about living in utah and if you're moving here and you need help with the relocation process with the home buying process specifically we would love to be able to help you with that you can go to our website welcome to saltlakecity.co we have a contact form there that you can fill out in about 30 seconds or less or you can just shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to salt lake city they both leave the same spot really no preference website probably a little bit easier but then we'll get the show on the road we'll get everything headed in the right direction for you again this is what we do i say this all the time but relocation is hard it's complicated it's frustrating even at times but it's what we do all the time so while yes you'll still probably <laughs> find it complicated it will still be frustrating to you at least on our end of the thing we just have it down we have processes and we're very good at what we're doing here but with no further ado we are talking about highland utah and this place has got a lot going for it. Let me show you around a little bit and, uh, and then tell you about what's going on. All right, y'all, so Highland, Utah is a, a suburb uh, in the Salt Lake City metropolitan area. It's about 30 to 45 minutes to downtown Salt Lake City, probably 20-ish or so to downtown Provo. Uh, so debatably, you know, what is that a suburb of? I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. Uh, we're about 35 or so minutes to the Salt Lake City airport as well from where I stand here in Highland. It's a pretty complete suburb. It's got 20,000 people who live here. It's got a, a good blend, as you'll see through some of this B-roll, it's got a good blend of, you know, suburban amenities with some cooler, you know, a little more independent, uh, cool spots, if you will, but it's mostly suburban and it feels very intentional and, and suburban by design. The schools here are really quite solid. It's the Alpine School District primarily, which overall gets a B plus. The schools that serve the Highland area are Lone Peak High School. That's a uh, public 10 through 12. Uh, it gets an A minus. Then you have American Fork uh, High School. That's a 10 through 12 as well. That gets a B plus. Then for middle schools, you have Mountain Ridge Junior High School. That's a seven through nine. A minus Timber Middle School. That's a seven through nine. And that's a B plus. Then for public elementary schools, which by the way, here in Utah is pretty much always pre-K through sixth grade. You have pretty much A minus across the board with one exception. So Alpine Elementary School, Cedar Ridge Elementary, Freedom Elementary, Highland Elementary, Legacy Elementary, and Westfield Elementary all get A minuses. And then there's Ridgeline School and that gets a B plus. You know, I like to try to mention some charter schools or some private schools. Utah's got quite a few of those. And some that are would serve the area. Uh, that are really quite highly regarded. Lincoln Academy, that's a public charter. It's kindergarten through ninth grade, that gets an A. Renaissance Academy, also a public charter, K through nine, that gets an A. American Heritage School and uh, Liahona Prep Academy, those are both private Mormon pre-K through 12th uh, grade, so pretty much every grade. Uh, and those are both private again, 
and both get an A. The housing stock here is pretty robust. There's, there's quite a few and a pretty dang solid range of housing options here as well. It's been, you know, developed slowly over time. It's not like it's only new builds. Um, there's, there's several decades of inventory available here in Highland. And the median sale price for single family homes is 920,000. But the current range starts at 529. That's the most affordable home on the market right now. And you can get epic homes here the most expensive currently on the market is just you know literally right under four million dollars 91 percent of the people who live here own the home that they live in and nine percent of the people who live here rent the home that they live in which for a population of 20,000 people that ownership number is quite high but let me show you around a little bit more and then talk through pros and cons as i see them as it comes to living in high On the, I'm just on this great little walking path, but I think it's what's interesting is it has some some interesting combinations of all the pros and cons and maybe I'm not going to mention them because I don't want to call anybody out who's like, you know, yard I'm literally behind, but maybe you'll see some of the things I'm talking about as I'm walking back here. It's a great asset to have this, you know, walking trail. It goes for quite a long way, biking trail and all that. And there's a good amount of that here. And so I'm going to say that pro number one is access to things like this outdoor spaces, beautiful park spaces like I was a little bit earlier, uh, municipal parks, hiking trails, that kind of thing. There's a very solid amount of that stuff going on here in Highland. Pro number two, really good schools. I like to say this, I've said this every time I think I talk about Alpine uh, School District, not elite schools, right? Not like the absolute upper echelon, but very good and pretty undeniably solid schools. Another pro for me, this is true in so many places in the Salt Lake City Metro along the Wasatch Front, really, really great views. You know, you can be at a park with a backdrop of the Wasatch Mountains, just absolutely overtowering. I just think it's such a, a wonderful part of living here. Another pro, e really easy access to I-15 and ultimately then relatively good access to, uh, to Salt Lake City compared to some of the other surrounding neighborhoods like an Alpine, like a Cedar Hills, like an American Fork maybe, just because you're pretty, pretty slick access to that highway and it'll get you right up there. Another pro, really solid suburban amenities. I wouldn't call it like the ultimate suburb in its suburbiness, but it's got a really good blend of them and you know, you, you don't want for too much here, but you've also got a pretty diverse housing stock where you have quite the range. And I, like I said earlier, homes have been built here over many, many decades. There are new builds coming up here and there are probably 50 to even 70 year old homes in this area. So a good variety. If you're drawn to the area, you can have, you know, quite a few options and a lot of different price ranges can live here, which I think can lead to a somewhat more enriched place to live. One other pro, you can have chickens here. So if that's your thing, it can happen <laughs> here in Highland. But let's talk about some cons. For one, pretty expensive, right? Median sale prices here are gonna be double the Salt Lake City Metro median. That is not cheap and it's pretty undeniable that that would be a con for a lot of people. Even if you can afford it, if it was cheaper, that would be cooler, right? Con number two, even though you do have good access to the highway, it's a pretty long way up I-15 to get to Salt Lake City, and the airport is a pretty good clip away as well. Side note, not much airplane noise, a little bit of prop, prop plane noise, maybe a helicopter from time to time, but not much ambient airplane noise here. And then I mentioned that there's really great suburban amenities here, uh, but my biggest uh, issue with these, uh, you know, suburbs toward Provo is that the natural food selection, the natural food grocer, like a Whole Foods, uh, like co-ops and stuff, tend to get pretty limited. And so that's kind of just a personal thing that I, I really uh, value in an area is easy access to those things and a decent variety. But yeah, staples like Whole Foods, they just don't really exist here. And then I think last con for me 
is that you will find some fairly wacky zoning laws here, which can make the area feel somewhat hodgepodge at times. <laughs> Some, somewhat just like identity-less and I don't know, I think less aesthetic because of that. I don't love cookie cutter areas, but I also don't love <laughs> when houses don't make sense together. For example, I mentioned you can have chickens as a pro, but you can also have horses in super residential areas with not very big areas for them to exist in. And so you'll have you know, a very nice suburban home uh, that feels like it would be in a suburban neighborhood, but then it'll back up to, you know, somebody's kind of look haphazard looking horse setup. <laughs> so yeah, that's weird. And I don't know exactly how to put my finger on it, but that's what I got for you. Let's keep going. I got some other places that you might like if you like what you see here in Highland. All right, y'all, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I have a section that I like to call my for fans of section, which is to say that if you like what you're seeing here in Highland, then maybe here are some other places that you might want to consider because they have similar lifestyle, similar assets, and maybe sometimes similar locations. But before I do that, I would like to say that if you're interested in working with us, if you're moving here in general, we would love to help you and we will crush it for you. This is something that we're doing all the time, helping people relocate here. And while, like I said earlier, I know it's very complicated, I know it's frustrating, I know it's stressful for y'all, this is what we do. So reach out and we'll do our very best to take as much stress off your plate and cancel out as much noise as we possibly can. I know that when you look at Zillow and you're looking at the Wasatch Front, there's so many houses in so many areas and you're like, what on earth is all this? Hopefully this channel helps you narrow some of that down, but then, you know, we can be the next, you know, sledgehammer of absolutely getting rid of more and more noise in the signal for you. So go to our website, welcome to saltlakecity.co. We have a contact form there that you can fill out in like 30 seconds or less, or you can shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to saltlakecity.co. The, e the website is honestly the easiest way, easiest for us, easiest for you. So just do that and we'll get the show on the road and get everything headed in the right direction. So what are some spots that feel uh, somewhat akin to Highland? I think the first few, are, they're all gonna be related to the Alpine School District, right? So Cedar Hills, big one. Uh, Alpine, big one. Those are gonna feel like a little bit more mm, affluent, a little more high end than maybe the average or the median anyway of the Highland area. But uh, you can see behind me, there's some pretty cool places here. <laughs> Sorry, that was ridiculous. There's some very cool places here uh, in, in the Highland area. Then a couple other spots. One is a little further south this way, American Fork. I think it has a lot in common. I, I think if, if you lived in Highland, you probably would end up um, doing some of your errands in the American Fork area. And then another, you know, another extension of that is gonna be Lehigh. Lehigh is gonna be closer to Salt Lake City, kind of on the way up to Salt Lake City. And it has just a little bit more suburban amenities, at least in my opinion. Then just on the other side of this mountain, mountain ridge uh, is Draper. Draper is maybe a little more high end than Highland on the whole. It's, it's gonna feel similar to Alpine, which if you've seen Alpine, we have a virtual tour on Alpine, but we also do have one on Draper as well. Draper, it makes a lot of people's lists uh, for one reason or another. It probably shows up really high on some, you know, best places to live, and it is undeniably beautiful. But just on the other side of this mountain ridge, it, you know, you're on southern exposure of the mountain ridge, gonna get a little bit more sunlight, uh, on average, um, a little more direct sunlight at least, especially if you're up in the foothills, but sort of the trade-off there is you're a little bit further away from Salt Lake City. Then a couple other spots that are considerably closer to Salt Lake City, uh, a much, much easier commute if that's something you're doing. Uh, Cottonwood Heights, very, very beautiful place. We have a virtual tour on that. And then Holiday, we also have a virtual tour on Holiday. So I think both of those are worth checking out. If you're liking the overall vibe here in Highland, uh, I think those could definitely check off a lot of boxes for you as well. That's all I got. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.